Hey guys! So recently I realized that back like on Halloween I did a video about the ghost girl that haunts my house. I said like if enough people like the video then I would do more like it. It's been about six months since I made that video now. A lot of you guys seem to like it. I had another weird thing happen so I thought well maybe I should make another video about my weird paranormal kind of e things. I've never had reoccurring dreams. Like, ever. In my 20 years of life, I had never had a reoccurring dream. Until a few months ago, when I started having reoccurring dreams. And I've had three different kinds of reoccurring dreams. I've had dreams where I'm going to the grocery store. Like, I've had multiple dreams of going to the grocery store, which is so exciting. I've had multiple dreams where I'm pregnant. And every single time it's a boy. It's really, really weird. But the first kind of reoccurring dream that I've been having is black figure dreams. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I kind of think it could be something paranormal, but I mean, you never know, it might just be my brain. But I do believe these kinds of dreams are kind of paranormal dreams, but I mean, a lot of people don't, but then a lot of people do. The first ever black figure dream I had was sometime in the winter. I was in my bed and all of a sudden it felt like some huge creature was on top of me holding me down and I couldn't move. I was trying to like scream or like move or do something. I couldn't, but the really creepy part is it felt like it was trying to like suck my soul out, like push my soul out. It's like the weirdest thing. It's so hard to like explain. You would have to have an experience like it to understand. It was really creepy. It lasted what seemed like forever. Then I was just really freaked out for the rest of the night. The second dream was a couple weeks later. I was sitting on the couch with my mom and we were watching TV and I ended up passing out sitting up. All of a sudden I like opened my eyes like a little bit and I could see like a black figure standing by the bathroom door. The way our living room is set up we have like the couch up against the window and the TV facing the opposite wall and then right to the right. <laughs> there was the door to the bathroom. I could see a black figure standing in front of the door so it was holding me down and I couldn't move and then again it felt like it was trying to like shove my soul out of my body. Both times it was happened I had those dreams it was like the creepiest thing because like the rest of the day I'd feel like my soul wasn't exactly intact with my body and it was the creepiest feeling you could like ever have. But the worst part about that dream was my mom was sitting right next to me and because I was having some like sleep paralysis I couldn't say anything to her and I was kind of like freaking out. I thought I was like squeaking or something, but she didn't hear anything. I've been told that I like whine like a kitten in my sleep and stuff, so I might not have been making any unusual noises. The third dream I had was a couple weeks after that. I was in my bed and all of a sudden I could see like the black figure standing at the end of my bed and it like tugged my sheets. Then all of a sudden it was standing up by my head and it tugged my sheets again, but this time when it was tugging on my sheets, my sheets were over my neck, so it was like trying to suffocate me. And then I woke up and the creepy part was is my sheets were over my neck, so then I was like, Ooh. Fourth dream that I had, now I hadn't had a black figure dream in like months. So when I had this dream it was really creepy. This actually ties into another reoccurring, I had two reoccurring dreams in one night. Well, morning. I woke up from my alarm and I shut it off and I rolled back over. It goes off every like 10 minutes. And in between the time that it went off and the time it was about to go off again, so in about 10 minutes, I had this whole experience. My dream started off with, I was at the grocery store with my mom, exciting, I know, and we were walking around the freezer section, and it was really weird because half of the store, the lights up above were off, and but like the big freezers, there was like little lights in them so you could still see. We were like walking around the freezer section, and I turned to my mom and I'm like, this is really weird, the way they had the lights, it's making me feel like I'm in a dream. And then I was like, holy crap, I'm in a dream! All of a sudden I was lucid dreaming, which the only other time that this has ever happened to me, I was like, I'm dreaming, and then I woke up. And so I was so mad, because like my sister's always telling me about all these lucid dreams that she has, and I'm always hearing about people in their lucid dreams, and I'm like, I want a lucid dream, that sounds like so much fun! So I finally was like, I'm lucid dreaming, and then all of a sudden it was really weird because I was in Market Basket, and then all of a sudden I was like floating out of Market Basket, and it was like all completely changing, and then all of a sudden it was like black, and I was like, doesn't like lucid dreaming make you vulnerable to like the spirit world? Because I was thinking like Insidious, if you've ever seen that movie then you know what I'm talking about. I was thinking like how that little boy 
would like project, like spiritually project or something like that, and then like creatures would go into his body and like take it over and whatever. So like my lucid brain thought that immediately, which was awesome, because then all of a sudden behind me, I felt like this huge thing just go like, whoo, like breathe on me, like this huge breath, and I realized it was the black figure again, and I was like, oh crap. And as soon as like I thought that, I was like. I wanted to like jump up out of bed and fully wake up and like get away from this thing. As soon as I went to jump up, it like slammed me back down on the bed a bit. Like I wasn't like actually jumping up, but I was like, I wanted to. And it like held me down for like 30 seconds. But here's the weird thing. Okay, so ever since I was little, my parents have always taught me about bubbling. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard about it. Basically, it's where you like picture yourself in like a protective bubble. That's what I do all the time. All the other times that like the black figure dreams happened, I was always really spooked afterwards because I was like, I bubbled all the time and the bubbles didn't work. Lately when I would bubble, I would kind of like say a little prayer to make the bubble like extra strong. The weird thing was is that the black figure this time, it was like it couldn't quite get through the bubble to get to me. So it couldn't hurt me, but it was just holding me down. I remember hearing that some people will say prayers if something like that happens and it helps them wake up quicker. And then immediately as soon as I thought, oh, I should say a prayer, it went away. And I like jumped up out of bed and I was like, Ugh, that was creepy. Oh, I meant to tell you guys this at the beginning of the video. When I was about 10, me and my mom were standing across the street from our house on the sidewalk. There was a eclipse. Our neighbor's house, which was like right next to our house, I mean we basically had like a little parking lot between our place and their place. It was our friend's car and then their truck in between the two cars. You know those like Grim Reaper costumes you can get at like Walmart and Target around the Halloween season? Where it's like you're completely black, like you have a black mask on, black hood, black everything. I saw someone dressed like that standing in between the two cars. And I looked over and I was like, Mama? And she was like, it's okay, just relax, because we lived in a very odd neighborhood, so I would not put it past someone to just dress up like that and like roam around the neighborhood. Even though it was like nowhere near Halloween, it was February or something, she took the flashlight and she flashed it on the person, and they disappeared. Like, I mean like completely gone. And then she moved the flashlight away, and it was back. We were both really freaked out, and then the worst part is, is my sister, she was like five at the time, and she got spooked so easily. We went to go inside, she came outside and she was like, I want to see the moon some more. And so my mom was like, don't tell her anything. So we didn't, but I just remember the whole time standing there, looking over and it was just standing there watching us. And so ever since I had that dream, not that dream, that experience, I've always felt like it's still followed me since that day. So that's why, I, that's what I, why I don't think these are just like sleep paralysis, bad dream things. That's why I think this is like a something bad from the other realm that likes to hang around me, which isn't too pleasant. If you guys have ever had experiences like this or anything like it, then leave it in the comments below. Let's let's talk about this. Maybe you have some advice on how to deal with stuff like this, because uh, I'd love to know. And give this video a thumbs up if you'd like me to do more paranormal videos, because I really enjoy doing them, because I've had a lot of experiences throughout my life, because this is just like a few out of my like 20 years of life that I've had. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. I love you guys. Bye. Hi. I've done a lot of issues. Yeah, no, no. fourth time. Fourth, fourth, third, third time. Sorry, we're being too noisy. No, it's just, I want to finish filming. <sighs> I'm like halfway Harsh. done. So this look in here, but let's just take a minute and listen. Can you hear this? Can you hear the peepers? My door has been 